He may have been the most important Ironman of all time. When Jim McLaren went 1042 as a lower leg amputee in Kona, it wasn't so much that he finished that was impressive, it was that he finished in the top 20% of everyone in the race. I want to be a factor, he admitted. I'm not just participating, I'm racing. Jim McLaren was all about shooting for the stars. Eight years after losing his leg, he was paralyzed when he was hit by a van during a race. Doctors told him he would never move again from the chest down. Jim McLaren proved them wrong. He got to the point where he could use stretch cords, ride a recumbent bike, and walk in the water even though he was a quadriplegic. The Challenged Athletes Foundation was originally created to help just Jim. I said something last year in the interview, Bob. I said, you know, this could really could be an infectious attitude. I mean, you have, last year we had 50 people and sponsors and people giving money and, and for a good cause, and not just for me, Jim, but it makes them feel good about themselves, and it's definitely growing. It's, it's just on a bigger scale. I, I see the sky the limit being what we can raise financially, and we have a, you know, as we've all started this fund for disabled athletes and people that might need a wheelchair or an artificial leg or, or whatever, and, I'm, and I just think that the world, this is kind of a metaphor for me where, where the world would work better, in my opinion, if, if everyone just kind of gave a little bit towards those who don't have it, you know, things would be a lot more comfortable. But in the 17 years since his accident, over $28 million has been raised to buy athletes the equipment they need to stay in the game of life. Jim McLaren passed away at the age of 47 on Monday night, August 30th. His body may be gone, but his spirit and the charity created for him will live on forever. Thank you very much, first of all, from my family, from my brother Jim. Uh, this is actually the first time I've ever seen an end date on my brother's name, and it's, uh, it's interesting, but it makes me think back that 17 years ago, a few of Jim's close friends got together simply because he had an accident, and they cared enough to want to help him get back to not what I would call a normal life, but the, the life that came naturally to him is being up and being around and being part of the world. <sighs> Those same people, their event was so successful in helping my brother that they created this. <laughs> and every time I come down here, what amazes me about CAF and all of you is that um, Bob and Everybody here, they, they started a, a shot that was heard around the world. And literally today, we realized that shot was truly heard around the world. They simply got together to help my brother Jim, and out of it came a foundation that Rudy and Emmanuel and other countries have actually benefited from and really uh, started to move forward. So I think this weekend, uh, it's really a time to reflect on what you all have done, what every person who's ever donated, what every person who's ever entered one of these races, whatever, every person here that ever stood up and got back into a life that came naturally to them before, uh, before some event, either by birth or by accident, you know, and I, I, I can't thank you enough for, from our family and from my brother Jim. Jim had a life that just wouldn't quit, and now I'm surrounded by people it just won't quit. You all just don't know when to stop. And, <laughs> and I really thought of it today on the way down here. I thought, you know, one of the most impressive things is we're in the middle of thousands and thousands of people around this country who just do not know when to quit. And I raise my glass to you tonight after this for that. So thank you very much, and thank you for this, and I appreciate it.